I want to show you a product that I drop shipped that made me about 16,000 in revenue in the first month. Now this was done drop shipping. This was done in 2020. And before you ask, the profit on this was about just over around 500 uh, in profit each week uh, while I was selling this. So this is just on my Instagram stories, my story highlights, which you can check out. I was hitting around 6,000 uh, sort of revenue weeks, okay, $6,000 in revenue a week. Okay, this was the brand that I was using at the time. It's called Jack Simple Tech. Okay, this isn't uh, this isn't live. This brand anymore. The website isn't up anymore. So, so unfortunately, I can't show you the website, but I will show you the product. So, this was a product here that I was selling in 2020. Uh, it was a resistance band set. I'm gonna talk about what the product is, and then I'll talk about why it works so well. So, resistance resistance band fitness set. Uh, was something I sold right at the start of COVID. I started at around basically when COVID started, when the lockdowns in Australia started, because this was an Aussie only store. Okay, I was only drop shipping to people in Australia, only targeting my Facebook ads. I only had one sort of ad creative, one sort of photo that I was running for my Facebook ads, and I was just targeting people that wanted to do fitness. So this was the product. I was selling it for around $50, $60 at the time. And I think this was still around a similar price to what it was. It was probably around $15 or so at the time, maybe even actually a little bit more than what you see here. But that was the product, okay? It was actually a pretty decent quality product. It actually worked. I ordered one myself and tried it out myself, did home workouts myself. So that was the product. Now I wanna run through why I think this product worked, okay? So first of all, uh, it solved a big problem. This is why I ended up selling 16,000 in revenue for that first month that I started selling it. So it solved a big problem, okay? In the midst of COVID, no one could access gyms and uh, people needed to work out at home. So that was the main thing. It solved a really big problem, okay? The second thing, which is why I think it works so well, is that you couldn't buy it anywhere. At the time, I really wanted to work out. I'm a big gym goer. I uh, couldn't find any weights online. I couldn't find any fitness equipment. At this very start of COVID in 2020, you couldn't buy any fitness equipment. And especially something like this, this resistance band set, you could basically get, get nowhere. And apart from maybe even a few supplies, I ended up having supply issues with this product. That's how in demand it was. And that's how little you could buy any fitness equipment. So that was why it was so good because I was advertising to people saying, hey, you can't buy fitness equipment online for any any of these Aussie online stores or even Amazon for that fa for that fact. You couldn't buy anything. So I thought, hey, here you go, advertise this and people would buy it. Also, it was high quality. That was a big thing as well. The shipping wasn't too bad. It was probably around 15 to 20 days. And at that point in time, we were in lockdown in Australia for like three months at the minimum. So uh, people were okay to wait, but it was a high quality product, okay? Fourth was uh, it had a high perceived value. So people were thinking, okay, I invest $50, I invest $60, whatever it was into this fitness product, I will be able to work out and stay fit because people don't want to gain weight. You know, obviously a lot of us did, me included, I gained weight because it was just harder to work out when you're just stuck inside. But people are thinking, okay, I need to keep myself active. I don't want to go insane. So it had a very high perceived value as well. And the bonus for this was uh, it was focused on Aussies. This store was focused on Aussies. I only sold two people in Australia, I only shipped to people in Australia, just because not only did I want to sort of test myself to see if I could do a one product store during COVID, people were still spending money, but I wanted to do one that was Aussie focused. And I think that really helped with the perceived value because people were thinking, okay, this is a fitness product that is Australian. Okay, I had, even though it was a dot-com site, on my site, I made sure to let people know that we were an Aussie company, an Aussie business, okay? Um, which I think helped with the sales as well. Now, one thing I want to mention, this is a mistake I learned why I didn't end up continuing this product after COVID. I didn't develop the product or the brand and the sales died out after more options came to market. So what happened was I would sell this for a few months and then afterwards, more people started coming into the market, more dropshippers, more people on Amazon started bringing out the same product or similar products started uh, developing more options. Okay, the market had more options for fitness products and I didn't do anything about it. I didn't improve the product. I didn't add any products to my store. I didn't improve the brand. I didn't increase the uh, integrity of the brand. Didn't do anything. I just, because I was still sort of somewhat new to finding, I guess you could say winning products, wasn't really sure on what to do. So that was a lesson I learned. So if I was to do this again, say sell this same product or sell a similar product in a similar situation, I would brand out 
even more, I would increase the quality of the product, maybe get the product branded, maybe include bundles and things like that, and just delve more into advertisement, trying more ad creative. So just learn from my mistakes with this, okay? When it comes to dropshipping, when you find a product that works, don't just stick with the same ad, the same techniques for months and months on end because sales will die out. Just like with this brand with Jack Simple Tech, okay, back in the day, it was a good brand, made some really good sales, made some good profits, but I didn't, uh, the mistakes that I learned is I didn't grow on it. So learn from my mistakes and grow on what you have. You don't have to completely reinvent the wheel, just, just keep building on what you already have, okay? So would I sell this product right now? Maybe not. I would still sell fitness products. They still work great, but you got to be a bit more inventive, okay? Well, not so much inventive, but you got to just sell something that's a bit more creative because there's so many of these around now. Still go into the fitness industry. Just uh, look into building brand more and adding a few more products to your store. Maybe do a small niche store in a particular niche of fitness. That's what I would do. But this is a product that made me 16K in the, uh, in the first 30 days of selling. And I uh, hope you learned a little bit from it and from my mistakes, but go out there and try it yourself. Dropshipping still works.